Oh no, what now? Oh, I think the battery's cacked. I hope it's the battery. Um, it's been slowly starting, very, you know, battling to start. So, but if you don't know, also is in a couple in last week's video or the video before, we've had a, that oil level uh, sensor. So we had it checked out in Newcastle when we were at the vacation of Muster. And uh, we put a new oil sensor, a level sensor well, in the cruiser. Bernie put a new oil well, Bernie sensor. Bernie did. Bernie helped me out. Uh, cost me 550 bucks. That seems to have stopped that now. And now, uh, yeah, I think the battery's, battery's gone. It's just, we just can't seem to win here. You know, it's just like 550 bucks. I don't know what a battery's going to cost me. So we'll have to take it in. We do think it's the battery. Uh, fortunately, I've... You know, I've met some really good people on the road and gave Keelan a call and we've done some testing. And um, yeah, we think it's the battery because the voltage is there when you when we jump start the car. So let's jump in the car, let's jump. Oh, Aladala's got a super cheap and a Repco. Maybe they can do a little bit of a better test. Let's go and get another battery, if it's the battery. And um, yeah, we can maybe get this video going, eh? So here we are, guys. We're at, uh, where are we? Super cheap auto in Aladala. The lads um, going to do another check on that battery for me, so they do testing batteries here, and it looks like they actually fit batteries here too, so that's great. So we'll do a quick test um, on the battery, and then we'll, I'll let you know what goes on from there. Here we are. So they reckon it's a battery, but apparently they won't fit it because we have accessories on the car. Well now I'm stuck in a car park trying to do it myself, and... Um, they did loan you tools. That was they nice. loaned me the tools, but anyway. So we've actually got, so what this is, this is actually a 650 uh, cranky now battery. I bought an 810 cranky now battery now, so a bigger one. He reckons this is actually too small for a, for a V8, but anyway, it doesn't matter. It is what it is. I've got to try and get this thing out of here. I've taken the battery clamp off. It's got no handle. And I'm going to try and get that out. So, so you're going to have to put the camera down, darling, so you can give me a hand, please. All right, so you're in. We got it in. It's a bit of a snugger fit. I think it's a little slightly bigger battery, but we got the battery clamp on, which is the main thing. I mean, it's going nowhere. And now, we get that on. Tighten that up. I'm living on the road. Saturday afternoon. Super cheap car park. Super cheap car park. Going wonders here. What's going on? All done. Oh, now let's hope. Take the old battery in. It's 300 bucks, I think, was for the battery. That's yeah. not bad. Not bad. Sorry to interrupt the video, but we've got some exciting news. Guys, we've teamed up with uh, Front Runner, um, and they're doing an awesome giveaway. They're doing uh, a set of camping chairs and a barbecue fire pit as well in a Wolfpack Pro like box storage unit. The next little clip that follows will show you we um, actually um, do a review review of these um, um, products and then in the description below there's a link I'll have it all down in the description below you click on that you fill in your name your surname your your email address and um, the competition's open until uh, 9 a.m. Monday the 12th of December and then Front Runner will actually pick the winner at about midday on the 12th of December so you and then they're actually going to send out um, the exact same stuff for your review in this next little clip um, to you so it's not coming from us so you get brand new set um, and possibly get it before Christmas so stay tuned for that don't forget to enter below and also watch our Instagram as well for the next week we're going to be um, advertising it there as well so hope you guys enjoy good luck good luck me I've got the uh, Wolfpack Pro by Front Runner. It is light and it is strong which is awesome about it. It's nothing better than having something light and strong. It features extra secure latches, four of them, and that way it also keeps out the water and dust out of the Wolfpack Pro. And another great feature about this box is that because it's flat, as you can see, look at that, nice and light, you can strap that to a roof rack on top of your ute, um, car or camper trailer or anything like that. Um, so that's a great feature about this product. All right guys, inside our front runner Wolfpack Pro kit is our awesome portable barbecue. 
Now, another nice thing about this Wolfpack Pro is that um, you got room for your sort of barbecue um, accessories, like your fire lighters, your barbecue tongs, if you had a little bit of a, one of those wire brushes. Well, it can all go in your dirty or unwashed or even like the wire brush stays a bit greasy there's enough room in here to store everything and what i like about this is with the lid on you can if, if, the, if the barbecue's still a little bit dirty it's not going into your car or in your caravan or your tunnel boot of your caravan or the canopy of your uh, of your ute it goes in here you put the lid on tightens up nicely and then when you get home you can actually just wash everything out it's actually quite a great idea the fire pit is quick compact and durable guys and um it's off the ground as well which is great because some caravan parks and national parks actually don't allow you to make fires anymore on the ground and also this barbecue packs to 38 millimeters thick and acts as a fire pit or a barbecue with a large barbecue area which is awesome so let's get this up and um let's get cooking expander camper chair pair with storage bag and it's also got a great carry strap and um, we'll open that up and I'll show you just how easy this is to set up so the great thing about this chair is it's obviously got a carry handle I'll just move the bag out the way not only is this chair small it's lightweight at four kgs per chair and nowadays with traveling space is an absolute premium so the size and portability of these chairs is absolutely massive for any traveler in terms of setup quick and easy you've got a strap to release a second strap to release you then want to lift up the sides of the chair give it a tug fold out the back easy as so the chair ticks all my boxes We've got a cup holder. We've also got a media pocket for your phone just down the side. And lastly, there is also a utility pocket where you can store your books, maps, essentially anything you want to read along the journey. Designed with new space saving technology, which allows this full size chair to compact to 1 16th of its size, it folds down to the size of a laptop case. Last week's video was about saving money on the road because where are you heading? I'd just like to start by saying the car started so hopefully it was just the battery. Whoop, whoop. So that's a tick for us um, but I know we're all about saving money and it's a big mm -hmm. thing on the road but I've been given a hot tip here now Aladala. I've got to try out these pastries. Now I don't mind a pastry. You don't mind paying for a pastry? Yes, I, I'll support local businesses. Apparently the pies range between like five bucks and six bucks fifty. So we're gonna go and we're gonna give these one of these pies because I haven't had Brecky yet and it's now, I don't know what the time is, quarter to 11 already. Quarter to 11, Derek's worms are starting to chomp away in his belly. Yeah, so let's stop. I mean, Aladella's not a very big place, so we're about five minutes away from the pie pile. So I'm going to get a pie and um, pass on my thoughts with you. Here he comes, pie in hand. Good oh, morning. The place is so packed. Hey? Oh, it is busy. There was a queue at the door. Bumped into a lady by the name of Jen here in um, Aladella. Aladella, and she offered to buy us a coffee. So thanks, Jen. You're thanks, a Thanks, Jen. You're but a legend. I got a chunky, ch chunky steak pie. Oh, here we go. Oh. Well, hang on. What is this? What are we going to call this segment? I don't know. Shh. Hot, 
Hot Pie Review. Hot Pie Review. So the place is Hayden's Pies here in Ulladulla. Well, we've given up on um, Aladala for a few reasons. Old love next to me here is not feeling well. She's picked up the flu that I had a little bit a few days ago. Taking a COVID test. It's not COVID. Well, you know what they say, love. Marriage is all about sharing and thank you for sharing. Correct. So, we've decided this evening we're just going to head to the van and keep going south. Um, the weather's been blowing an absolute gale over in Aladala for a few days. And to be honest, there has been a one more. Oh, yeah, um, Bob's farted. Oh, if you don't know, French dog, French bulldog. Yeah, it's not great. We're not giving up. We're trying to stay positive. We're heading south. I'm not sure where. We're going to try to find a little free camp for the night. The good thing about being in South Australia at this time is that it only really gets dark quite late. Hello? So, we're not in South Australia. We're in New South Wales. So, she's where are we? Woo! Where am I? Sorry, we're in uh, New South Wales and that means the sun only goes down at about 8.30 so <laughs> we're just going to keep going on for about an hour and a half and see where we end up. Smile on your face, why? So I think we came through Bateman's Bay and um, all the servos there, or around there, that I could see, were a $2.44 litre of diesel. I have no idea where we are. Look at that. $2. Almost 20 cents a litre cheaper. $2.27. How is that even possible? That's that absolutely crazy. So guys, that was a saving of $16.84. I put in 93.46 litres. That's crazy saving that. Well, we've made it to camp. It's called Bedola Rest Area. It is absolutely chock a block full, but we've managed to just grab ourselves a little, um, little spot down over there. Um, car's not level, but the van is as level as we're going to get it. It's a great little spot. Toilets and water available here. We actually drive up there. So we, when we come in, we did the, the one way sort of around. But he's absolutely chock a block. So, Mr. Bob's out. Hey, Manny. A bit dark for the old GoPro, but where you going, bro? Going for a walk. You should have a jumper on. How do you go walking, Bob? I see you got a jumper on. I put a jumper yeah. on. Bob enjoyed his walk. He could have done it three times. Shame. This is Darrell's soup that this she is Darrell's chicken brought soup. to you last night, eh? Yep. Which looks delicious. Hey, what are you doing up there? Hey. Mate. Mate. What are you doing? Get down. Come on, mate. Come on. Yeah, eat your food. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm having a cold tuna. I haven't had one for, oh, it's been a while actually, eh? Well, at least since last Friday. That's a long last time Friday. for me. Oh, look at that gourmet dinner. Gourmet dinner. Five star restaurant in here tonight. That is five star. Mm. Two minute noodle by Sue. Hey. Absolutely delicious. Can't go wrong. Bob is running a muck here. We're trying to be quiet because there's a couple in a rooftop tent just not far from us. And every toy he's got has got a squeaky toy in it. A little squeaky thing in it. And oi, what's this? He likes the squeaks. He Where's loves the squeaky toy. It's full of pop. Where's your toy, mate? It's driving me the bloody yeah. wall. Your toy. Bye. I'm going to eat this dinner. And I reckon I think I'm going to turn it in tonight, eh? What do you reckon, dear? I'm it's only just a free cam. It's got dark outside, too. Mosquitoes oh. are thick here. Yes, please. Good morning. So last night we rolled into that free camp. And at about 10 o'clock last night, the rain started to come. And um, I woke up this morning and it was pretty wet where we were. And I was a bit concerned about actually getting our gear out because it had actually become like a sloppy. But... Cruiser does, never fails. But guys, we're at um, Dalmany, I think it's called. It's um, $34 a night here. Um, no power. I think there's water. No, I don't, I don't think there's water. But uh, we're with our friends, Lee and Katie. And I'll tell you what, it's a little bit overcasty, as you can see. Hopefully that um, gets a bit better today. 
I don't know if you can see. That's the beach. Now I have looked, had a look at the weather app and it seems to be okay because I reckon you'd get absolutely slammed by the wind here if it was a windy day. But I'm um, going to spend a night here, catch up with some friends. Hopefully we'll have fires here so if the rain stays away we'd be able to um, have a little bit of a fire tonight. Righto. Look at this stuff. What's this stuff here? It's bloody blue sky. Super keen. 10 years off. Got my old fishing partner here because Sue's still not feeling too good. Jumping in. We're going to go and see if we can get dinner for the girls. Sheesh. Yes, please. Look at this place. I wish you could actually see the colour of the water, but check here. What a day for it. The only problem is we have no idea where we're fishing. So we reckon we're going up up creek here. Up and around some... The, the, the inlet actually opens up to a big sort of lake area. That way is the sea. Oh well, enough dribble, let's get her in, eh? Look at that! What's happened, Lee? It's got a bit shallow, mate. Yeah, we're just, we're just uh, holding the front down a bit. So it happens when we have absolutely no idea where we're going. And to be honest with you, I don't see any markers. There's a few markers up that way, but we decided to cross over oh, here. Oh, she's getting shallow. We're going to be walking in a minute. Hang on, hang on. It's been an hour and a half and zip. Lee reckons a couple of bites for him. We've moved into a deeper hole. It's about 12.7 uh, meters. Got a bit of bait down on the bottom. Sound is not lit up. Um, so we're gonna give this another half hour and then we're gonna move. But we we'll wanna wait in for, we're at that swing of the tide now. Um, sounds like I know what I'm talking about, but we're at that swing of the tide. And um, we're gonna try head down that way. Right on, so we untied ourselves off the buoy. We're in 50 meters of water and look at Lee. It's bending. What do we got? What do we got, Lee? What do you reckon? It's not big. Well, I hope it's bloody. Oh. I really do. What do we got, mate? Yes, split. Oh, a little. It's a flounder. It's a flounder. What's that, mate? Like a. Jeez, it's not a. It's not a bad sideways, size. Sideways fish, mate. Sideways fish. It's Number tiny. two for Lee. Tiny. About 20 minutes afterwards. What another? Oh, it's a little snapper. A snapper. A little red, mate. Have a look at that. All kinds of bloody fish come out today. Oh well, number three for Lee. Another little snapper. No jokes. That's his third. I'm still waiting at this <laughs> at this present moment. Bloody I'm tiny. At this at this present moment, I'm washing the boat and cooking dinner tonight for, the, for everyone. Any fish today? No. No fish. Lee caught four fish. Lee caught, oh, they're, they're like this big. Oh, don't down another man's catch, love. Uh, it a wasn't fish great. is a fish. It wasn't great. No, I'm not going to lie well. to you there. He did well. But yeah. you know what? At the end of the day, we got off the, we got out on the boat and. Um, Some fresh air. I, one thing I did catch was a bit of a tan. There you go. A bit sunburnt. Well, that's um, not good. This little town. Naruma, I think it's called. It's gorgeous. Mate, I tell you, it's something about the colour of the water. It's still, um, it's still just amazing. But because we didn't get any fish, yeah, we're doing steak tonight. And I bought myself a little bit of marinade. And I thought, well, we'll get home and uh, we'll put the steaks in a dish and we'll marinate the steaks for tonight. Nice. I thought about doing it like slicing up my steak. Throwing it on a roll with a bit of an egg, like an egg and steak sanger. Yep. But when we came off the boat, now the GoPro batch went flat. Mm -hmm. um, massive seals at the boat ramp this, this, this um, afternoon when we came off. So we're going to go back and check it out on the way back. Guys, we've just come up. They're still here. Watch out. Don't check get too close. Check out this. They're oh. right here, mate. Oh, watch out. How cute are these guys? There you go, mate. Oh, hello, fella. I don't blame you. The oh, cold, mate. mate. There's oh. another one down the bottom. Reminds me a little bit of Sophie when she used to light up. <laughs> and look at old fella behind him. 
Just chilling out. Hey? How cool is that? Watch out. You know, I won't get too close. Hey, mate. There's a big old stingray. Look at this guy. I don't know if you can see that. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. Sting, eh? Yeah, another yeah, one. A couple of them around. A couple of seals over there. Yeah, saw the seals getting comes with it. Oh, look at the two of them. They're doing a the hook in. No, please, no, mate. It has turned. Ice cold, hasn't it? Quite chilly. And with a little bit of sunburn, as you can see, mm. I'm getting even colder. Summer oh. wasn't sun smart. But I've also, my Uggs that I bought, it's got a bit of a blowout. It's now got a mouth. Oh dear. <laughs> so we've had a bit of a blowout on the old uh, mug. I reckon a bit of duct tape around, <coughs> around, the, around the toe. Because I've tried to glue it. But it, it's just getting worse. So Boiler I'm, tape, just around the front. Yeah, I think I'm just going to have a take because I need these tonight, I'll tell you. But, um, yeah, it's cooked tea. We're going to sit around with Lee and Katie and have a yarn. Um, and I think we're packing up tomorrow and we're heading off. Look at this knobhead. What are you doing? It's so cold. I'm trying to fix the egg to get me through the knot. Well, don't squeeze it too tight. You'll stuff the blood flow to yeah, your toes. Yeah, oh, now I've got it stuck to my foot. Let's have a look. Oh, no, I can't. That is absolute class. Look at that. Just. I have gone a bit tight. Class. Oh, it's going numb a little bit. I told you, you can't do it tight, it'll stop your blood flow. The whole duct tape, eh? <laughs> Keep going because it's quite cold outside, so I reckon it's gonna take a while to heat up. And then we got steaks, sauce, snags. What else we got? Green salad, couscous salad, couscous, baked couscous the whole you know. If you want to join us, come around. Bit of sausage, mate. That's yeah, this is Lee or oh. Lee sausage. Lee sausage, <laughs> um, that is nice. Do you want me to put your steak on now, mate? That looks like Wagyu. Well, love, the sausages take a lot longer than the oh, steak. Well, that's, you know what? So, you know what? That's why I'm married to you. I mean, I'm that looks like a you. really nice steak. We don't want to ruin that. That needs to be cooked uh, well. We got a couple of, and we got, apparently we got um, a bit of the old um, Soccer World Cup on Australia versus who? Tunisia. How much? Tunisia. Tunisia. <laughs> Where are they? Where are they from? Tunisia. Yeah, so we got that on the telly. Look, telly. Oh, hey, telly. This is living, Barry. Okay, so Lee and Katie's food is um, done. Done. All right, so what's the go here? Well, we got a bit of a thing going on tonight. So we went through to Aldi and we had a look at the steaks they had on offer. So Derek went with the 21 day aged. Oh, look at this. What is it, a 21 day Angus? Yes. Right? $50 a kg. All right, so but, um, it was only $16. So $16 for that. And I thought if somebody's got a family and mm. you need to feed a number of people, this was the equivalent rump steak. $16, $16, $50 a kg, that was about $22 a kg. This is marinated in um, a store-bought soy marinade. This I marinated in actually a bit of coke with soy sauce, herbs and garlic. So we're going to cook them both up and give it a rating. Here we go, right. this is the um, bulk buy. Family steak. Holy. $22 a kg. Holy. 
Now you know I like my medium rare lips. Yes. I get a bit cranky when it's overcooked. I'm gonna put and here's on the Derek's. Front. Beautiful, look at this. 16 bucks, 16 bucks. And we're doing a test on um, quantity what, versus quality. Here we go. It's been um, four minutes, look at that. Oh, that looks good. It looks good. I'm gonna flip mine as well, but you're mine. fatty. Yeah, but oh dear. Those are gonna be delicious. They're so tender, eh? There you go. I always love the way you just carry uh, food through. You go. That is a lot of meat. No, well, you know, like a lot of people think that we like it's not wasted because oh, we'll have we'll tomorrow have like steak, steak sangers, wraps or sangers. Or we can or even or have like steak uh, toasties tomorrow night if we're somewhere we can have a or fire. Or salad. Or you can have a salad, but there you go. Grabs up. So it turns out I'm not having a burger. No, so I've done you some I, I, honestly th I honestly thought I was having a burger. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay, so that's my one. And that's Sue's one. So I'm going to tuck into this one. Oh, this is good. And you can see, oh, that's a little, that's more medium. Yeah, slightly overcooked. Let's have a little taste. It was worth the difference in price. My honest opinion, mm. that tastes better than that one. It's a little bit tougher than that one, but the taste is really good on this one. I'm going to have another go. I overcooked this one a bit, to be fair. You did a little bit. But That's all right. Mm. So the flavor's better, mm -hmm. but it's a bit tougher. I'm going to go straight into this one again. Just softer. Not as much flavor. So if we go for the win, if oh. you could choose one or the other, which right one now, would you go for? Oh, ooh. I'd actually go for that one. Way! See for the win. And then Sue's done me some nice potatoes. Yeah, I just put a little bit of mayonnaise on it. So these are Derek's favorite potatoes. Basically yeah. what I do, it's, beautiful. it's a half jacket potato just tossed in a little bit of oil. Mm. And then I scrape the top with a fork. And you put a bit of butter on, bit of cheese over the top, and oh, sacrilege, but he puts a bit of mayo on it. Salt and pepper. I'm going to tuck into this now and carry on watching the soccer with Lee and Katie um, outside. And can I, I show you one thing? You know the best part about family sized steak, bulk buy? Yeah. Mate, Boy. you're going to get some steak. He's never far away. We're not going to lie, he does get a bit. He is like our child, and he does get a little bit, but not a lot. And then, I actually, we got rolls for tonight, but tomorrow... We'll do steak rolls. Or we'll just do, like, pull up for lunch somewhere, because we've got a big day's drive tomorrow. So, it is now 10 to 10, um, and after this, and my beer, and after the soccer game, I'm definitely calling a shut -off. Good morning. We're getting the wheels turning today. Pack up time. Bob, leave me. Leave my feet. Leave me. Oi. 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 Here's Derek. Yes. Packing up the Starlink. Just thought I'd show you how we pack up the Starlink. So I basically just grab it like that. Turn it, oh, this is into that bag of ours. I'll drop a little thing on the screen if you were looking for a styling bag. Yeah, but you get a 7% discount. Yeah, we've got a little discount code I'll put up on the screen for you and it'll see in the description. Um, this is how I pack it away because we didn't keep the, um, the, in the box that it came with. I'll just roll up the excess cable over here. Um, it's a nice long cable so you yeah. can get the styling quite far out. Styling worked a treat here because of, you know, there's no real trees or in that so let me just roll this up quick show you how our store the styling so I just roll the cable up nice and tight like that there's nothing more attractive than a man packing up oh, see, maybe a man like, cleaning put it on like that. man cleaning could be more attractive ah, grab the stand I'll just put the stand on like that over the top of it Grab the modem. I'll just sort of roll that up like that. 
and I just put the modem on like that and just because of that you think it's not going to close because I don't know how to actually move that bar because I don't want to put any tension on the, the motor but fortunately these bags you don't really there's enough room for it and that's it and then, that, and then that goes like I said to you it's flat and um, I just slide it on the floor into the corner done smiling back to away good job Howard and, um, yeah we're just gonna wrap this up here but um, it's a it's a really sort of basic pod. There's a lot of sites here actually. So we're in the unpowered section. Um, old mate over there is at a powered section. I don't know what it costs for a power section. I'll, I'll try and find that out for you. That's $34 um, for no power, no water. Yeah, we know that, but I don't know how much it is for power yeah. and water. But, um, got big skip bins down there. Amenities block over there. That's where the office is on the front of it. And, um, if you really want, you can get some beach views. The front there, if the weather's good, I reckon you'd get smashed by the weather. Um, if if that wind, I don't know what, like came off the sea. There's um, what's nice is there's an IGA just over, just over there as well that you can walk to. A um, little coffee shop over there, which is great. Um, park kids the, park is kids right park opposite the road. Right there. opposite the road. Um, two slides, swings. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And it's literally yeah. just a short walk from the beach. And um, you can buy firewood, yeah, but you need cash. I don't know how much it was. I wouldn't, uh, Lee had firewood, so I didn't buy firewood. Um, but we're gonna, we gotta wrap this up, guys. Because we're on the move today. We have no idea where we're going. Um, Bob's crying, I don't know why. We're only standing over here. He wants to play football. But he loves his ball. This is his, this is his next best thing now. He loves that ball.